Hard to believe it's been a year since the last Command Fest. That's because it hasn't. It was only October that we were last heading up to Birmingham for Command Fest UK. And it's now April and we're going again. So nice little treat early in the year. Um, really looking forward to it. This Command Fest, I'm doing it a bit differently. I'm trying to build a deck from scratch. That's the challenge for this weekend. Build a deck from scratch is absolutely nothing to begin with. I'm gonna see if I can buy some cards, trade some cards, gift, get gifted some cards, all of that. So nothing uh, I brought with me I'm allowed to use. So uh, we're gonna see what we do. I'm probably gonna start off by buying a couple of packs, see what we can crack and uh, start from there. And then just see if anyone will give me any goodies. There's also these posters around, most wanted posters. Can you find us for pictures? Three artists this weekend as well. We've got Titus Lunter, there's John Avon and Gali Villeneuve. So it's uh, popping off everywhere, but all rooms are busy, which is excellent. It's nice to see. I'm gonna go and sit down now and try and uh, start building, making start on this deck. Right, it's time to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. We've got Richard Kane Ferguson, legendary magic artist, launching his first Kickstarter. So as of the 22nd of April, for the next month, you can get five of his iconic pieces of art extended on playmats and prints. There'll be a link in the description to go check it out. They look incredible. They have stretch goals and everything. And not only are you grabbing those playmats, but they're also funding a 200 page graphic novel that Rich is doing. So like the benefits are through the roof. All, they're all signed. The prints are numbered. Like go and get it now because it's going to go fast. Okay, I'm having to quick sit down. I've got some packs that I bought from the vendors to crack open. A little mixture of things. Um, and some people have already been giving me some cards already, which is good. So we're, we're on a good start. It's not even midday. And I've got a, a big old pile of cards to build something. The main thing is going to be trying to find a decent legendary to like, leave the deck. That's going to be hard So I'm going to take a break, crack these open, and see what we can get. Right, it's meet and greet time. I've got the smallest cowboy hat you can ever imagine. Um, we're going to do some pack wars with anyone who wants to come on play, give some stuff away. It's secretly this is an excuse for me to get more cards. I'm with Alex from Pretty MTG. You not, might recognise him from previous videos. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Regular size hat, what loser? Yeah. He's jealous of my size. <laughs> so we'll be joining by Josh again um, shortly. So I think he's somewhere through there. And play for the next hour and a half, see how it goes. Then hopefully get some more games afterwards and try and build my deck with what I've got, who knows. So far I've got two boxes full of random shit. Vince is helping me out, he's gonna give me something. I'm checking on to give you too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the deck's coming together. So far I've got like one three color commander. And is it ambitious though to ask for a mana base for like a five color commander? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, mate, you're a legend. Omnath. Yes, yes, I've got, yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna suggest. Perfect, got perfect. You've got multiple you're nuts. Everyone's, this is the command that everyone's got too many copies of. Yeah. Yes, there's there's a showcase one and a promo stamp one. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> so, I have Magali Villeneuve here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. I put out to the internet some sort of suggestions for questions mm -hmm. to ask you. And yeah. I think my favorite one was, is a key to painting iconic characters to have them with their palm up in the, <laughs> in okay. the art, which I thought was brilliant. I, I see the point. <laughs> um, there is a good reason for that. Yeah. Uh, it's just because, as you know, you're probably talking more about planeswalker yeah, cards. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, for planeswalkers, we have to paint them, you know, a full body from head to toes. Right. But we have um, we have something a challenge in that type of cards is that the characters are cut in the middle yeah, of like course, that. Right. If you do a characters with their hands down, they're going to be cut by mm. the frame. And Sometimes, whenever a character that doesn't have a weapon to wield, doesn't have something to do with their hands, like throwing a spell or something like that, what do you do? Yeah. We can have them like, uh, or, uh. <laughs> so they have to look powerful. They have to look, and this is powerful. It's I great. think I love <laughs> whoever asked that question, it's not the first time I'm hearing <laughs> that question, but whoever asks is a keen eye. It's true, it happens really often, but just because we don't have that many solutions. Yeah. Like, oh, I need to force it. And he's like, <laughs> the spell it. Oh, the one oh, oh no, don't do it. It's the deck again. I've only two of them. It's done to be blocked. So it's 50 damage, I can't be blocked. 
Beautiful. Pack wars are finished. I opened the most nuts first pack with a, a Niv Mizzet in it and a Mythic 6 6 flyer. I'm just like, what my first three games. So I got rid of the pack, and then every pack I opened after that was absolute trash. So I lost loads of games. But we gave loads of packs away, had a good fun. We were giving Reliquary Towers away to people as well, like the uh, thingy ones, the like promo ones. <laughs> uh, I'll do it this way, look. Say hello. It's busy, it's full of, full of fun, fun people. So now I'm going to try and grab a coffee, I think, because I'm absolutely flagging. Do you have like, a favourite character that you've done for Magic? It's hard to answer that because I've done so many yeah. now. Uh, what I could say is, of course, the Chandra Torch of this Defiance has been quite of a milestone mm. in my career because that's really the card when I started, started to feel a change in events my lines get much okay. got much bigger and you know more people started to to have my cards and to notice i was existing in the game yeah. so i think forever that chandra in particular would be special to me love that mm. that's in one of my favorite planes is actually in one uh, of my that's decks good as to well hear. So, <laughs> a bit, bit biased yeah. <laughs> just had a little sit down and a coffee and then uh, was catching up with emma partlow and she pulled out dan dan which is really cool i've never played dan dan before so i was like yes let's give this a go so she showed me how to play you share a library, there's only Dan Dances of the creatures in the deck, and like you're just manipulating at the top card at all times. It was really, really interesting. It went like slow pace because you can reset a lot. Um, it was really fun, really cool, but I won the first game which is, of, of, I've ever played with Dan Dan, which was exciting. But like so much thinking to do and sort of planning three steps ahead all the time. Um, so I think I want to build one. More cards! Hey, what have we got? We have, it's an older card. Yeah. Uh, sunglasses of Urza. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I love it. Perfect. The deck. So look. Nice. Love it. That's, it's going in, it's guaranteed a spot. Thank you, dude. Legend. No worries. <laughs> in the next piece that you paint, will you use my likeness for the character? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> it's a really funny one because I am working on my next piece. Yeah. But I promise you, you don't want to be <laughs> that person, creature. You, you don't want to. Okay, I'm, now I'm intrigued. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> We're back, day two. I've got the most ridiculous Hawaiian shirt on for the cowboy theme. Um, I got here literally the minute that my uh, meet and greet was really start. So straight in, done that, played some pack wars. That was really fun. Got some cool stuff out of that and saw some like nice faces that we saw from last time, which was cool. And then uh, got some more cards for the deck. The deck is finished. I was up at half five this morning, finishing it and building it on my buddy Jack's floor because <laughs> I just was awake, so I thought might as well get it done. Um, and it's a legitimately playable deck. I, it, the cards that some people are giving me are nuts. There's so many commander staples in there. And like Alex from Really Pretty MTG gave me like the Mole God and all sorts of stuff. So it's a legit deck. So I'm gonna try and play it all day uh, and see if we can get a win with it. I'm just having a sit down with a coffee, looking at this final deck. The deck is finished. Gahiji is the goat commander. We were struggling yesterday. We were looking at building five color Niv for ages and trying to make that work was not ideal with just like random cards but uh, we pulled through someone gave me the, 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 the perfect legendary three colours like of course I can build something like that and then the mixture of cards are just nuts like you've got some absolute commander staples that people have kindly given me like, mate, like I've got soul ring cap command tower it's pretty playable and then I pulled like arid mesa as well so some of the cards in here are nuts and then you've also got things like giant beaver and the wily coyote and stuff like that so it looks fun. I'm gonna try and play it like non-stop today. See if we can get any wins with it. Um, frantic scapegoat, like just some stupid cards in here. But yeah, it looks like a good time. Kadama's Reach, like there's ramp, there's rocks. Like I think it's legit. It, if it if it outperforms my actual decks, I'm gonna be livid. Going for the full unsleeves, keeping it in a plastic bag because everyone's got to have a sleeveless deck. I'm gonna absolutely <laughs> batter it and make people feel uncomfortable when they see that arid mesa all ruined and crinkled and beat up. So yeah. So uh, Richard Kane Ferguson. Yep. Do you have a favourite piece of art? Uh, I do. I think it's Black Blade Reforged from the Gideon Signature Spellbook. That is such a good choice as well. I really love that nice card. Art, yeah. Is there any specific reason? Uh, I think the art of it is just really nice and iconic. Just really stands out. Nice. Yeah. Do you have it in any decks? Uh, I did used to have it in a SRAM deck. Ah, uh, nice. Parts and not at the moment, but yeah, it was in there. Solid card. Love it. Yeah. I have one question for you. Go for it. What is your favourite Richard Kane Ferguson art? Um, it's always uh... right. One question. Richard Kane Ferguson. What's your favourite art? Uh, the Dark Silver. 
mutation. Nice. Yeah, nice yeah, yeah. Nice. It's my type of card, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Your commander's now a bug. <laughs> See you later. It's your preview card and the name's escapes mm -hmm. me. Yeah, the Grand Abolisher. Grand Abolisher, yeah. yeah that's yeah. such a sick card. Nice, yeah, nice, it's nice. really nice. Rich Kane Ferguson Art. Yes. What is your favourite? Toxic Deluge. Nice, why? Because it kills Voyager. <laughs> and I'm not going to comment. Apparently that card is like really good. So. Yeah, busted, obviously. Yeah, right. Do you have a favourite? I do. It's Hazes on Tamar, the original one, because my nice. partner Alex got me it for my birthday a while ago, and I made a deck around it, and I just love it. It's great. That's a really good reason, and a really good card. No one said that yet, so I, that's a pretty good choice. <laughs> Thank you. What's your favourite art by Richard Kane Ferguson? He does the force of me, Yeah, right? yeah, the force of you. I'm, I've got to say force of me. Perfect. Force of me every time, yeah. every time. Excellent. Nice and bright and colourful. Yeah, that's, that's basically my personality, right? Yeah, yeah, well, I've got good news for you because it's coming on a play mat as a Monday. Do I get one for free? Well, we'll see about that. Do I, I think, signed? Yeah, I can make that happen. All right. They all come signed. Is it? Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Did everybody know that? Maybe they know now. Didn't. Now you know. I like it. I like things signed. Everyone, especially with all the queues here, everybody yeah, likes yeah, things yeah. signed. Do you know what I mean? So I'll get one delivered to your door, so you haven't even got queue. Will you deliver it to my door? Oh, well, I'll try. With a hat on. And, yeah, there you go. <laughs> trek across the desert and bring you a play mate. I'm down, I'm down, let's do it. <laughs> it's time to be a professional and whoop the Shatter Gang guys. <laughs> Baz, screw those guys. <laughs> I'm officially joining the crew, uh, uh, an honorary Shatter Gang member. Just finished up with Shatter Gang, it was such a good game. I got to play the new deck I've made over the weekend. It was really fun to give it a go. And it wasn't bad, it did actually perform and do something. So you should watch the game. I'll leave the link in the description, it's really, really cool. I'm going to check it out. I'm now going to try and get one more game before I have to catch my train. Who will it be with is the question. Everybody's in the frame. Wait. <laughs> I'm getting hope this might be my last game of the day, but I, oh, wow. unless it's quick, I'm gonna get one more and then I've got to go get the train. So I'm playing the uh, the deck built on the, the weekend as well. See if we can get a win. Wish me luck. <laughs> a few moments later. And we are done. Uh, heading home, managed to somehow get two games in to finish with the deck built. Um, Here's Wally. He's driving in. And it's Josh. We're all heading out now to get to the train station. It's been a such a good weekend. This is always a good time. Um, I know I sound like a broken record, but truly it, it is absolutely well put together. Actually, now to know how to put an event on. So we're very lucky in the UK to have this. Because I don't think if they didn't do it, I don't know. Everyone could in the country, so it's been brilliant. Looking forward to the next one. It's nice to see all the creators, see the artists, and whatever. So, bring on Amsterdam. Uh, thank you again to Richard Kane Ferguson for sponsoring the video. Go and get your, your play mats in the Kickstarter, they're very, very good and they will not stick around. So, go and buy yours. Link in the description for it, and I'll see you in the next video.